Chelsea and today I am bringing you the top five interior modifications that I have made to my camper. This is a part two to the top five exterior modifications that I've made and these ones for the inside are more relevant to everybody no matter what kind of vehicle or whatever you travel in. So first things first, I put in these slide out drawers into all of my cabinets and when I say cabinets I mean these ones right here these are the cabinets that I store all of my food in and before it only had the two doors with one level of storage inside of it and so everything that I was putting inside you would have to reach back in and find and there just wasn't enough space so I ordered these drawers that we have installed and nailed into the cabinet. So now we have two levels of storage and you don't have to reach back in and find everything. The drawers come out so everything is much easier to find and you can fit twice as much stuff in there. I did that for both the top and bottom cabinet and it has seriously maximized all of my storage. I really recommend these things. I will try to find some on Amazon and link them about down in the description box below but I highly 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 recommend getting these things for your camper RV or van. The next interior modification that I made was I got a small lock box. I got it at like Dick's Sporting Goods or Cabela's. I, I can't remember which one but I got a little lock box and I made sure that it had little holes in the bottom so that I could seriously like drill it into the cabinets. Um, I did this because I didn't want anyone to be able to just come in and steal my lockbox. In my lockbox I have all my valuable stuff in there and a tiny bit of spare cash because you'll always need cash sometimes. I don't have a lot but it's good to always carry cash as well as a card on you. Um, for safety purposes I'm not going to show my lockbox or show where in the camper I keep it. If you are someone that travels with a firearm or if you have any important documents, be sure to keep those in there and just pro tip, drill it in. The next interior modification I made was boondocking lights and I put these all over the camper so that when we are not hooked into electricity, these lights will still work. I do have lights that work with just the battery, but in case you, you know, in case your battery dies or you don't want to use all your battery and you don't have solar panels, get these little battery powered like lights and we just stick them all over the camper so that when we don't have hookups, we still have lights inside. fourth thing that I really recommend also really helps with storage. These are napkin plate holders and bowl holders and I also have some storage drawers. So these things fit perfectly underneath your cabinets. You can stick paper bowls in there, paper plates. I even have one for a paper towel holder. It really helps save space inside the cabinets themselves and these things can fit under anything. I also have uh, two slide out drawers that I have put under the table and under one of my cabinets by the bed and these can be used for you know pens, pencils, grocery lists, lighters, chapstick, whatever. Last but not least I have added some cargo nets to the inside of my bunks and you can put these things anywhere on your walls but they have really been helpful for again adding extra storage space for things. When you live in such a small space, you are going to want to maximize storage as much as you possibly can. These things hold light stuff, but one of them we have really packed full of magazines, extra bags, some camera gear even. Honestly, you can put them anywhere and I even have a mesh version of it in the bathroom to hold all of my toiletries. So those are my top five interior modifications that I've made. A lot of them are really helpful when it comes to maximizing storage space. And when you live in a small area, like I said, you are going to want to do that as much as you possibly can. As mentioned earlier, these things can be added to an RV or a camper trailer like I have, a van, anything that you live out of that needs extra storage space, these things are great for. 
all of the things that I have mentioned you could easily find online and I'll do the work for you and just link them down below in the description box. I always try to find the best prices for you guys too like on Amazon so I will put that in there so that if you guys are interested in it you can get that for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this part two of these top five interior slash exterior modifications and I hope that they really help you out a lot. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. I post weekly videos of my nomad travels and weekly videos of a tip for you guys. Anything that I have found helpful when it comes to living a nomadic lifestyle, I want to share it with you guys in case you are interested in living this lifestyle yourself. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned because I'm going to be sharing my travels to Salt Lake City, Las Vegas, and Death Valley all in one. Let me know what else you guys want to see. If you guys have any questions, I can always do a Q&A video part two. And I do want to give a really quick mention. I did start a Twitch account. They have a new like section of their website called IRL where you can just stream yourself live from wherever you are. I also signed up for you now. I don't know which one you guys are more interested in, but I really want to start getting into like live broadcasts with you guys. I can do them off my phone. So I think it's always really cool to be able to bring you guys with me wherever I am in that moment and then give you guys kind of like an edited and refined version of it later on in a YouTube video. But I really like when you guys are with me watching it. I've done a couple of live streams on Instagram and it's been really cool to have you guys comment as I'm there and you get like the kind of like raw and edited version of myself. So let me know which kind of platform you like the most and I really am going to try to start doing some live streaming for you guys. Anyway that's everything for today and I'll see you next time.